One of the most dangerous threats to the security of the United States or any modern civilized country uh, is the threat of EMP or electromagnetic pulse. Uh, that's where a nuclear device is fired high above the atmosphere which the nuclear doesn't have any effect or the radiation on the people below but it cripples electronic devices. With the threats of North Korea, Iran and other rogue nations uh, you know, it's really good to be able to protect those electronic items. Uh, and that's one of the things that I've looked at a lot are Faraday cages, uh, but Faraday bags really are portable and they're easy to carry. We're going to take a look today at the Survive Tech. This is a Faraday bag. There's actually a two set. We're going to look at both. But this is something that will protect your electronics. And it's what's really great about it is, is not only is it effective, but it's really compact and small. Now here are the two bags. We have the vault which is a large bag you can keep a lot of different things in here uh, this is 18 by 14 and a half inside uh, dimensions and then we have what they call the trekker and the trekker is seven and a half by four and three quarter inches this is small for bug out go bags things like that this is for your larger items but yet it's still portable now there's a two-part process first you have this uh, non-conductive mylar bag it's an inner bag and this actually seals up your uh, products, whatever you're going to put in here. And then it keeps it from getting uh, wet and it keeps it pretty much waterproof. And so this is a very important part of the bag. Next, we have the standard Faraday bag itself. And this is a protective uh, copper uh, layer inside. In fact, it's, a, it's two sheets of it. You place it in between the two sheets. It's ISO Tech Copper Weave Shielding. And again, there's a lot of research that's gone into this material. And uh, a lot of it's used by the U.S. military currently. Now, one test that we use to see if these are EMP proof is if this phone will receive a, uh, a phone call. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to have my wife just call me. All right. And so she's coming up. So we know that it works. Now we're going to put it in the bag. First in the interior non-conductive mylar bag. Make sure you seal it out. This is going to protect it again from the elements as well, make it water resistant. Now one thing that's important is that you get it in between the two copper sleeves. Uh, one time I actually put it on the outside here and I was getting signal and I was thinking, what in the world? So you've got to make sure that you get it in between the two mesh pockets. So we're going to set it down in it. Now we're going to seal it up. Make sure you get a really good seal on that Velcro. There's no way for the uh, waves to get to your phone. All right. Now we're going to try it, and so we're going to make a call. Call has been forwarded to an automated All right, you'll notice that it says no service. So this locks it down, and uh, and we have really good cell service here at this house, so that is not normal. So good thing is it works. What kind of items would you keep in a in a Faraday bag? Well, of course, you know some kind of communications. One thing about a phone, it's great and it'll protect your phone. But the problem is, is cell towers and your service are going to be cut off. If you have a backup phone, it'll probably be great to have one put back. But uh, that is one issue. Now, another thing is like two-way radios. Great to be able to have some communication for short distances. A good ham radio, uh, even larger ones. Uh, you know, cameras, your flashlights, chargers, even memory cards. Uh, they have electronics in them and those can be fried. And then whether you have something like thermal or night vision, also great options for your bug out. Now, vehicles could also be affected. Too bad there's not a Faraday bag that big, but that is one of the things that could happen. Now, guys, these bags are available through uh, survivaldispatch.com. I do want to just kind of mention this website because it's something that I'm getting ready to get involved in. Uh, but Survival Dispatch uh, has a lot of just different credible resources 
uh, for those who are into prepping and into survival. In fact, right here in this picture is Chris Weatherman who wrote the Going Home series. And he is one of the contributors. I will be doing exclusive content on Survival Dispatch. More information coming up about that. Uh, they do have what they call their insider program, and that's really where I'm going to be doing most of what I'm going to be doing. I'll have the link down below in the description, and uh, you can check it out. And there is a, a free trial to just check and see what they're doing there. But I think it's a very impressive resource for prepping and for survival. Now I have all the links to Survival Dispatch down below and you can check out these bags. $49.95 is a great price for two of these bags that can protect your items. And also with the uh, Survival Dispatch Insider, guys, I think that is a great resource if you're looking for uh, really credible ideas and things about survival, about prepping. And I think that'll help you to get prepared for about any emergency situation. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Electronical. Now, I found out about these prepper bags by... And the survival batch. Survival batch. Okay. Survival dispatch. The population will die within one... <laughs> Whoops. To make them just really excellent... 